Hi everybody, welcome to Beach Bow and Dad's channel. Stay tuned for some shelling post Tropical Storm Claudette. Anytime a tropical storm or a hurricane is in the Gulf, things get stirred up and the shelling effects can be felt far and wide. It was fixing to be a stormy morning, and I didn't know how long I'd be able to stay out. As soon as I stepped onto the beach, I knew my timing was on, and the shelling was going to be epic. Already a bonnie, a shark eye, an olive. A pair of cockles. And then that sundial. A sundial! If you're like my dad and love beachy adventures, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And of course, a sand dollar make you holla. However, on days like this, it's drowned out by the wind, and you're always looking over your shoulder making sure there aren't any water spouts coming. Storms mesmerize us and make us lock into social media and TV. Wondering if the storm is increasing, decreasing, where it's going to make landfall. However, for the hardcore sheller, we're looking to see where it's going to be, which side of the storm we're going to be on, and then figuring out how many days before we can get out and go shelling. While Gulf storms each have a mind of their own, Claudette didn't do too much to Florida. Yet her winds kicked up the surf and definitely brought in the shells. Well, let's keep walking and see what we can find. There's a nice Imperial Venus. Razor clam, we don't find those too often where they're intact like that. And of course, lots of bittersweets. And the olives, man, were there the olives. So remember, this is the first video. Oh, nice. The Sunray Venus, we always get those after a storm, and sometimes we get a lot of them. So as I was saying, remember this is day one of our venture out on the beach after a tropical storm Claudette. There are so many shells today, how about a little speed shelling? Nice shark eye, nice barnacle. Let's keep walking and see what we can find. Always looking for flats and bonnies. Fighting conch. Nice base gallop. Look at all the other shells in the area. And yes, gotta look up once in a while. It is howling 
Warren. However, the shells are out here. Look at this. Another baby's here. Another white baby here. It's always neat when you can pick up a bunch of shells right in one spot. One, two, a couple nice bittersweets. Another nice bonnie. This was the day of days for bonnies. Of course, we're not going to pass up any other shells. Another nice bittersweet. And olives. Boy, were there the olives. dandy Imperial Venus and one of my faves especially when they come in orange the rough scallop whether it's a hurricane or a tropical storm the results are the same. When the gulf gets all riled up, shells will be present on the beach. Any of you ever walk along and say you're not going to pick up another one? I've heard of people attempting that. I know I don't say it to myself, I just walk along and if something like that base scallop catches my eye, I pick it up, oh, nice. Or a really dark scotch bonnet. I just walk and pick up things that attract my eye. You always gotta just walk slowly and look through things. Sometimes you gotta move the, the vegetation or the seaweed, move the shells around, look around. And then as your eyes are darting around, there's another scotch bonnet. Put the bonnet in the hand because I look left and there is another intact Sunray Venus. Another pleasant surprise. Of course, finding all these bonnets, that's been a pretty nice surprise. Another barnacle. And I haven't seen a starfish in a long time. Another bonnet. This is definitely one of those days where you don't want to pick up every shell. I already had my, my pockets full. I had several bags going. I had my major shell bag going. It's a lot easier just to walk along and look for bonnies. You'll never find hundreds and hundreds of bonnies that fill up your bags. Olives, yes. Maybe you'll find hundreds of those. But if I just keep looking for bonnies, I'm probably going to find a couple dozen. Oh, nice. Another fave. I know. I've said that for several of them. Oh, so close. Boy, with the... The shells we found today, Ravenel scallops, the number of scotch bonnets we found. Of course, we started the day off with a sundial, and sundials are a fave. Lots of shark eyes, some white baby ear shells. It's been a pretty good day. Another fighting conch up ahead. Let's pick it up and... 
Oh, so close. Always have to check things out and inspect them. Lots of scallops in the area. There's another fighting conch. I'll take that one. Another olive. I'll look around for some worm snails. Haven't seen any worm snails. Not a lot of Ravenel scallops. Another nice scotch bonnet. Let's keep looking and see how many more we can find. Oh, look at that, not too far away. Another nice white baby ear shell. Nice. Someone had been walking through here and they didn't see that. Big cockle. I see you dig through some stuff and then you find an Imperial Venus. Sometimes when the waves come up, it tumbles the shells and you can find new ones. Oh, look at that. Now that, that one I'm picking up. That's a pretty big arc. Nice shark eye. Oh, so close. Look at the colors, though. I always have to keep checking them out to see what they are. I'll take that one. Nice fighting cog. There's a lightning walk up ahead. That would have been a nice heart cockle there. On days like this, because we don't see days like this too often, on days like this you just want to just keep walking and walking. I mean, as far as the eye could see, there were shells. Of course, the the gulf does reclaim its own, so the waves come up and pull a lot of these shells back into the water. But we've done pretty well. A little bit of everything. Another nice whelk. Another nice little lightning walk and a fighting conch. Now for those of you that have been able to travel throughout Florida you'll notice nice another scallop. You'll notice that the lightning walks that we get here in the panhandle are generally considerably smaller than the ones down south. Still can't keep myself from picking up olives. Our first cone. We keep hunting for an alphabet cone. On days like this you generally find at least one alphabet cone. <laughs> Another olive. And pick up that lightning whelk then of course when you see a piece of a body you got to check it out you never know if it's going to be buried in the sand another 
shark eye and one just to the left. Oh, nice. Nice jingle with an orange tint. Since it's hurricane season, I guess I should go check for batteries and flashlights and then go check out the weather channel to see what they have to say about the next front so I know when it's time to hit the beach. Thank you all for watching. If this is your first time here and you haven't already done it, please consider subscribing and I'll be seeing you all back out on the beach. Y'all take care.